developers are increasingly focused on building with sustainability in mind. HRP Group is transforming a former refinery in Philadelphia into the Bellwether District, a revitalised site with thriving innovation facilities that promotes environmental sustainability and generates economic benefits to the local community. Laying the foundations for the next generation. On this vast expanse of land in the center of Philadelphia, change is underway. This 1,300-acre site will be reinvented as the Bellwether District. We broke ground here. Roberto Perez is in the business of transformation. As the CEO of real estate investment firm HRP Group, he's responsible for reimagining and redeveloping old industrial sites into new sustainable economic engines. We believe the Bellwether District is one of the most strategic pieces of property east of the Mississippi. One that's got the ability to really kind of reignite commerce, not only in the region, but at the, same, at the same time having a significant sustainability story. Once finished, it will offer state-of-the-art e-commerce and logistics facilities, as well as a dedicated innovation and life sciences campus. The entirety of the site will utilize sustainability solutions to maximize resiliency, such as raising the site above the 100-year floodplain, planting thousands of trees, delivering LEED-certified buildings and more. I remember flying into Philly and, you know, thinking that I was going to go to the suburbs and in the reality I landed and within a few minutes on, on our way to the city, you start coming up the Platte Bridge and from the left and to the right, all the way up to the Philadelphia skyline, you see this massive refinery. At its peak, the former PES oil refinery processed 335,000 barrels of crude every day. After its closure in 2019, the city of Philadelphia saw a 16% decrease in carbon emissions. Since then, HRP has dismantled over 100 buildings, 300 tanks and 950 miles of pipeline, as well as removing over 18 million gallons of hydrocarbons and 2,250 tonnes of asbestos. Now, the site's first megastructure is up. The walls are in place and the floors are down, thanks to a local female-owned concrete company led by Lynette Sutton. Construction projects of this magnitude often are critically looked at for sustainability, environmental sustainability, and reducing the carbon footprint. However, a project of this size can also generate economic sustainability and social sustainability, and those are equally important for not only our local community, but small businesses looking to thrive in this community. The project aims to create 19,000 jobs while boosting the city's economy to the tune of more than $100 million a year in taxes. It's also the sheer scale and size of all of this that makes it so impressive. This site represents 2% of the entire landmass of the city of Philadelphia. In addition to the 10,000 trees to be planted on site, the Bellwether District project recently committed to help plant 200 trees throughout southwest Philadelphia. It's working in partnership with Bartram's Garden, a public park and national historic landmark in the heart of the city. It's something that we're incredibly excited about. We're in alignment in our attempt to curate a much more community-centric, environmentally stewarded program. I can't say enough how important it is for us to know that there is a philosophical alignment in what's happening over there with what's going on over here. And we're very happy with that. HRP aims to build transformational projects with environmental, community and economic sustainability at the forefront. I think the Bellwether District could truly be the anchor of economic development, not only for Philadelphia, really for, for the region. A landmark project with a lasting impact for generations to come.